Dora, how do we become licensed metallurgical engineers? I need a help. We need to check the map to find a way for us to become a metallurgical engineer. You have to say map. Say map. Say map. Louder. If there's a place you gotta go, I'm the one you need to know. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map! <laughs> I know how Dora and Boots can be metallurgical engineers. To become a metallurgical engineer, they must... <laughs> First, finish a Bachelor of Science in Metallurgical Engineering program, then, apply for the licensure examination at the PRC, and lastly, pass the board exam. Are there other ways to gain a license without taking the licensure exam? There are two other ways to become licensed metallurgical engineers. One way is to be a graduate of a doctorate degree in metallurgy. Metallurgical engineering or in related fields provided that he she is a degree holder of Bachelor of Science in Metallurgical Engineering. Another one is to be a graduate of a Bachelor of Science in Metallurgical Engineering before the enactment of the Presidential Decree 1536 in June 1978. Way to go, Diego! Thanks, Dora! Who is that, Dora? That's my cousin, Diego. He made the design of the plant where we are working. Diego is really cool. He can make highly efficient and highly economical plant designs and take care of the people around him. Whoa! I want to meet Diego! Sure, Boots! Do you want to meet Diego? Hola Diego, this is mi amigo Boots. Is Manny okay? He's a little bit shot from the accident, but he'll be okay. So, how was the project I was told to make? It was already finished, but there is still a little problem. What seems to be the problem? Uh, the machine you build releases a toxic substance that, that is dangerous to the health and safety of the public. We can find a way, right? Wag. 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 Wag mong subukan. Masisira ang buhay mo. At sa huli, ang bayan. Uh, sure, I find a way. Sir, it's really deep thing to decide the shape, so can I go now? No extra payment. Oh no, Mr. Fuentes is a business now as the boss of the company. He's not giving any overtime pay for his employees, even though they are working overtime. It's a violation of code of ethics under Article 5, Rule 11. Should we tell Mr. Francis not to abuse his power? Yes! Also, from the machine he invented, the safety of life and health of the public is affected. So he violated the Rule number 6 of Article 3, 
of the code of ethics. Go. Oh.